welcome again to everyone uh, who is present for this fabulous session today uh, it's going to be presented uh, by kushal uh, kushal uh, is the assistant director at the savanna uh, college of art and design also it's popularly known as cad okay so we are just going to wait for few more minutes for some more uh, students to join us and then we'll begin shortly It's nice to uh, see so many students joining. Yes. Of course, it's a really interesting uh, session, and I myself, I'm really excited to uh, do your, you know, your to offer. So, just to give you a heads up, everybody, while I'm presenting, my video is going to be off so that the audio and video does not lag at your end as well as my end. So that if you have any questions, we can keep it later on for the booth and not during the session right now. So that we can focus on the presentation. You can note down all the questions that you have and you can ask me in the booth. I think we're going to start the session at 11.20. So we can answer any questions that you have during the session from 11.20 to I think 1.30 p.m. India time. So we can answer all the questions for you during that period. Great. So just a minute more maybe and then we can start. We already have a lot of students uh, that have joined us. Yes, really sir. excited to see you all guys uh, early Saturday morning for us. Of course, it's very late for Kushal. So Kushal, thank you uh, for joining us from Atlanta. Uh, okay. So uh, let's 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 go. So <laughs> welcome all of you again. Uh, this is the third edition of Global Art and Design Education Expo. Uh, we are really really excited uh, to kind of. Uh, you know, host you all here and we're going to start with the first session of the day uh it's presented by kushal karwa as i said he uh is the assistant director of admissions at savannah college of art and design which is popularly known as dad uh just before we start this session uh let me just give you a quick heads up on what's going to happen at this event uh, so we are of course starting with this session and parallelly there's also another session going in breakout room number two. Uh, at 11 a.m. sharp, you guys, uh, whoever is in the booth, would be moved to the next session, which is basically uh, where universities will be talking about what they offer and you know, uh, you know what, why you should visit their booth, what, uh, you know, what are the admissions criteria, you know, basically certain uh, uh, you know unique points uh, for each of their institutes so please don't miss that session you're directly going to be moved on uh, to that booth at 11 a.m and then from 11 15 a.m onwards all our university interaction booths open okay so uh, you can just join them ask your questions understand what they offer speak to them you know so uh, that's pretty much what's happening in the first half of the event and then at 1 p.m. we also have this fabulous panel discussion on, uh, you know, basically an art and design, li uh, life of an art and design student. Okay, and we have two fabulous uh, uh, students joining us. Uh, one is from SCAD and the other one is from SVA. So we are really excited for that session too. Now, uh, with the, uh, let's, let's kind of come back to this uh, session, uh, which is presented by Savannah College of Art and Design. And uh, just let me give you a quick uh, introduction of um, SCAD. So SCAD is the most comprehensive art and design uh, university in the world. It offers more than 100 degree programs. They have more than 40 majors and uh, 75 minors in different fields. And of course, they have different specializations that you can choose from. And uh, we have with us Kushal. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, he's the assistant director at SCAD. He uh, has studied MA in Industrial and Product Design at SCAD itself, so he uh, he, he he is an alumni of uh, SCAD, and he specializes in uh, design marketing and uh, business development. He has a lot of experience uh, in the design field, 
and we are really really thankful that he could join us today and uh, share this beautiful session on design strategy and innovation through scad stem programs okay so let's uh, let's not wait any further kushal uh, once again welcome to the expo and we can't wait to hear you so over to you thank you mithal thank you for such a wonderful Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because it was loading again, so I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So uh, I will be shutting my video just because of the very same reason because the screen refreshes I think uh, after every couple of seconds. So I'm gonna stop my video but share my screen so that you are able to. Uh, is it audible now? Yes, Kushal. Oh, okay. Someone is saying that your voice isn't audible. So right. we are going to just check. Right. Uh, guys, uh, can you all please let us know if you can hear and see us? If you all can just type it in the chat box, I think it will be great. Yes, awesome. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be stopping my video now and sharing my screen. I won't be able to see any questions in the chat box so i'm gonna be stopping my story now so looking forward to see you during the presentation all right is the screen all visible yes 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 you can go ahead. okay perfect all right hi everyone good morning my name is kushal karwa and i'm the assistant director for admissions at scad and I would like you to introduce SCAD University for Creative Careers. This is a short glimpse about SCAD and what SCAD is talking about. I'm driven to create. To be expressive. To collaborate with only the best and across disciplines. The most exciting field to be in is design. Because a designer has to think about people, about technology, about the activities that are taking place. It gives you the license to explore and investigate and to try to create a system that enhances life. All you have to do is create. Sketch really great at giving me and giving all the students the ability to build things, make things. We have immersive reality, the latest AR VR equipment, and we're super proud to say that we're the first creative university to have an XR stage. This is a for shooting, film, and visual effects. The SCAD is built on design thinking. With programs like the Business of Beauty and Fragrance, SCAD students go on to become entrepreneurs and pursue creative careers with top companies around the world. SCAD does an amazing job at making industry connections and making things available to students that might not be otherwise possible. Hey, Bees. Hey, SCAD. Hello, SCAD. I absolutely love SCAD. It's been amazing to have SCAD as a touchpad for resources, for inspiration, for people that just really believe in you and will do whatever they can to help you succeed. I am a designer. I'm an entrepreneur. Storyteller. Thanks to SCAD, my future as a creative professional is real. It's happening. You are the next incarnation of this beautiful planet that needs design, that needs beauty, that needs your mind and your spirit and your energy your power, your unique voice. <laughs> this is SCAD. To graduate as salutatorian here as the first member of my family to attend a college in the U.S. It's just an incredible honor. Because of SCAD, I am doing what I really truly really love to do. It's been a blessing. This was a short glimpse about SCAD. Now let's dig into the deep majors that we have at SCAD. SCAD offers more programs of study and specializations than any other art and design university in the US. With more than 100 degree programs to match your passion, from animation to creative business leadership, We have it on. SCAD has four global locations. Every is by seamlessly, quarter by quarter, 
Now, let's travel to our patients and see what we have to offer at all our patients at scan. SCAD is a global experience. When you're accepted to SCAD, you're accepted to all our locations. I've had students who have traveled across campuses, and I definitely see a difference in the way they look at the world. They don't have to re-register, they can move from campus to campus. Where else are you going to get that? Experience SCAD in the historic streets of Savannah, among the Fortune 100 companies in Atlanta, or online from anywhere in the world through SCAD Now. The beauty of Savannah campus is the community because there's so many people here. It's like a chemical reaction. When you enter the SCAD building, it's very magical. The space is tailored to the discipline, like sound design or visual effects or business. Atlanta offers multiple opportunities. SCAD has so many different relationships with multiple companies. And so I was really able to get out and intern and really be able to immerse myself in the industry. You can also experience the beauty of Southern France and Lacoste during a quarter abroad. SCAD has created a beautiful world here. One finds or fine tunes their process. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be able to spend some time meeting all these amazing students who are our future. You can start your studies anywhere you choose, then seamlessly study at any other SCAD location, any quarter. This is a place to teach yourself, to grow, and to really choose your own adventure. Wherever your SCAD education takes you, you customize your path and your creative career. Isn't that awesome to get to study at different locations and get the same experience because we offer the same program across all the locations as well as we offer the same infrastructure so that when you are transitioning, you don't have to worry about thinking of if this is going to be available at that location or not. Now, the most important thing that is important to us is STEM programs at SCAD. What does STEM stand for? It's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Basically, STEM major is you are eligible to work in the United States after you graduate from your undergraduate or master's program and get to work in the United States for one plus two years. That is one year of OBT and two years of STEM extension. The programs that SCAD offers under STEM program category team program. So you will be able to do study advertising, animation, architecture, creative business leadership, design for sustainability, design management, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna get deep more, more, I'm gonna dig deep into these programs separately and give you more information. But these are the 17 step programs that we offer at SCAD. Now, as you know, the SCAD is a university for creative careers. Let's find out more about the STEM programs and how it will be helpful for you to change your career in the field of design. Let's find out more about digital media careers. The world of creative careers is one umbrella within which we have different segmentations. So you will be able to do digital field, communication field, building arts, the world of fashion, and many more. Just to name a few, to begin with digital media majors, we have heard of advertising, animation, graphic designing, visual effects, and illustration. But did you know that now the communication world has expanded beyond these to user experience, service design, immersive reality, interactive design and game development, social strategy and management, and motion media design? Let's jump to user experience. This is the career that puts the user first, creating an experience for your audience. The UX program at SCAD has been developed with Google. 
and you as an ever evolving field that is not explored, you will definitely recommend exploring what is user experience design so that you are able to create your career and your path while you are studying at SCAD. From cell phone to intelligent clothing, automobile interiors to healthcare informatics, UX designers create experiences that are meaningful and customer friendly. UX design students have access to premium tools at their fingertips to research, design, and test new products. One could launch their career as a professional in U as a UX researcher, UX designer, product designer, front-end developer, information architect, or a UI designer. Now let's jump on to immersive reality. This is where the world meets the new generation of augmented reality. From Siri to Alexa, students are creating technology that we can experience in a more approachable way. It is a career that thinks outside the box. With augmented reality and virtual reality degrees, you can launch your career as a professional immersive reality designer, environment artist, game developer, mixed reality designer, data visualization, mapping engineer, technical artist, VR content producer. And recruiters that we have hired in the past and students have been hired by are Adobe, Autodesk, Blizzard Entertainment, Epic Games, Facebook, Google, Magically, Microsoft, Zenimax Studios, and many more. If these are a couple of companies that you are in, we definitely recommend you to dig more, find out more about immersive reality. Let's glance at what careers from animation and illustration has to offer. Animation and illustration are popular industries with its roots in film, motion media advertising, healthcare, and service industries. With a degree, degree knowledge, you get to develop your signature style of 2D, 3D, and stop motion animation, digital modeling, rigging, lighting, and look development. These are just a couple of examples that you see on the screen of the works that students have done at SCAD in the past. That's how movies such as Incredible 2, Moana, Spider-Man, Zootopia, Idral, and, and many more are made. Now let's turn to visual effects, yet another area in the creative which is gaining a lot of popularity among young people. It is the process by which visuals are brought to life or manipulated outside the context of a live action shot in filmmaking, for example. Now you might be thinking that this dog is real, but actually it is created by one of the students studying at SCAD, which is something phenomenal because it looks like there's a photo shoot going on for the following dog, but it's just an animated render and it is such a clean render that you won't realize what it is exactly. I'm sure you remember, you remember the mind-blowing effects in Avenger Endgame or even Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. These are a couple of movies that students have worked on in the past as a lighting designer, production designer, motion media designer, set designer, fashion designer, or makeup artist. Motion media design is another flourishing field that links moving graphics. We offer the world's first specialized degree program in motion media design. And this program has been considered the best in the world by the rookies, dubbed the Oscars for creative minds. Our motion media students have built immersive and complex digital worlds for hit films such as Moana, and The Incredible Hulk, X-Men First Class, Spider-Man 3, and 200 plus more films. 
Now, describe the, the name describes the industry really well. Interactive design and game development. An interactive designer draws upon user data research and team inputs to generate interactive concepts that, on, that enable seamless and relevant experiences for people. As an interactive designer, app designer, or a game developer, you can launch your career with some of the best names in the industry, like EA Sports, Microsoft, Adobe, Apple, Epic Games, Frog Design, Google, and Blizzard Entertainment. If you are interested in interactive design and game development, look for these companies that are hiring students from SCAD and try to connect with them on LinkedIn to know their experience. Building Art programs prepare students for creative careers in interior design, architecture, industrial design, and game development. These are the known majors that we have and everybody knows that is interior design, architecture, industrial design, design management. But did you know that design for sustainability, furniture design, and production designing are new and upcoming majors? These are something that you can look into because the world is switching to sustainability, trying to switch to sustainability, and you can be a part of that journey by joining the Design for Sustainability program at SCAD. Now, next we have industrial design. This is a profession where you get to design products, devices, objects, and services used by millions of people around the world every day. Industrial designers typically focus on forms and functionality of the products, and they are often involved in far more during the development cycle. SCAD students create many things like games and gadgets to bicycle and boats to high chairs and helmets. They combine art, business, and engineering to make products that people use every single day. If you are into math, science, or technology, I encourage you to take a closer look at these fields. Sustainable architecture, which is another upcoming field. So if there are any architecture students that are interested, the Sustainable Design and Architecture Program are one of the few programs that uh, are the calling me of today's world. We even feature a groundbreaking integrated path to, uh, to architectural licensure, an accelerated academic track that prepares students to become licensed architects in as few as seven years compared to the program that may take up to 15 years. As a student, you will get a hands-on experience on bringing your ideas to reality, and you will be able to work on them. Now let's look at what's new and trending in the field of fashion. These are the known majors that we have at SCAD, that is fashion. And jewelry design. But these are the new and business of beauty and fragrance, luxury and brand management, and finance. So if you are interested in learning more about these programs, I'm more than happy to jump on a session with you today You're in, our, in the booth that we have at SCAD to know more about these majors. The world of fashion has been evolving every year. Fashion has grown into a multi million dollar industry with so many departments that range from fashion design, fashion marketing and management, fashion communication, fibers, textiles, jewelry, and accessory design, footwear design, and even the industry of fashion design in general. So these are just the examples that we have for the student works that have done fashion as a career and have worked really, really hard to get these things in place. Business of beauty and fragrance. These are $500 billion industries and brands 
are constantly seeking for next marketing head of beauty and fragrance. This is not a cosmetic or a hair beauty program, but where students learn the business professional practices of fashion brands. You will learn how brands evolve themselves and how you are able to evolve yourself along with these brands. So in order for you to be able to understand what exactly these programs at SCAD stand for and what do they lead to is creative careers. So let's jump into what exactly creative careers at SCAD is. My two greatest lessons that I learned from SCAD were learning the structure of the industry and the strong work ethic, but I think you really hone those skills at SCAD. The idea of collaboration with all majors happens so naturally at SCAD that it really is an outlet of incredible bursts of energy. SCAD is constantly staying very aware of industry trends and therefore kind of adapting curriculum to play into that and be able to have students be very prepared for real life after graduation. Just seeing the depth, the amount of detail the students put in, and when you bring in people from all of those different disciplines together, it's truly really amazing what they can create. It really opens a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities become real possibilities here. SCAD offers lifelong support to alumni, whether you're seeking to advance in your creative career, launch your own venture, reconnect with your alumni network, or collaborate with SCAD. It's that network of support and encouragement, which is so critical to the success of myself and other people coming to SCAD. We are always top of mind with industry partners. So we connect with productions from Amazon, from Hulu, from NBC, CBS, you name it. These are life long relationships that you build here. We will always have your back and we will always look for ways to continue your success. Because of SCAD, I got my dream job at Disney. HBO Max, Netflix, IBM, Lenovo, Pixar Animation Studio. I got my dream job at Epic Games. Isn't that awesome that you get to work with your favorite brand? And your favorite company that you are looking for. This is something that we help you develop from day one at SCAD. You are the number one priority when you join SCAD because you will be industry trained and industry professionally trained by working uh, on real-time projects that we have at SCAD. We have professors from the industry who have worked and uh, for example are very own dean of entertainment arts that is audra reeves she is the casting director for how i met your mother and big bang theory so just imagine working and getting guidance from the industry professionals who have been in the industry from the past 15 to 20 years and getting inputs from them and understanding how to explore the industry and what kind of majors to focus on for you to be successful now, let's jump into a couple of more things as we add what we have. We would like for you to stay in touch with us at www.scad.edu or send me an email on kcarwa at scad.edu. I'm going to put this in the chat box so that you are able to get more information. You can always schedule an appointment with me and I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have related to your application process at SCAD. Now, one of the best things about SCAD is we want you to be successful. And how do we do that? Is basically uh, you will be able to do that from day one by working with industry professionals. Now, the application process at SCAD is pretty simple and straightforward. For undergraduate students who are applying to SCAD, we would need just your transcripts and proof of English proficiency. You can make a note of that if you have a notepad, a pen, or a paper, or even your camera would do, or your phone notepad would do. So we would need your transcripts from your 9th, 10th, and 11th grade in order for us to be able 
to give you your admission decision. So we will evaluate your 9th, 10th, 11th grade transcript along with your proof of English proficiency and we will be able to give you more information on that. Now, second thing is, if you want to be considered for scholarships, scholarships at SCAD are merit-based. Now, how does that work? Now, scholarships at SCAD are merit-based in a specific way where you will be able to submit your resume and your portfolio in order for you to be considered for achievement scholarship at SCAD. Now, portfolio and resume is not mandatory, but it is recommended for you to be able to submit that so that you are able to get more amount of scholarship awarded to yourself when you are applying to SCAD. Because your transcripts is going to be able to help you get or award you with academic scholarship, but that is something is an added benefit when you submit a portfolio and a resume. For graduate students, the process is pretty simple and straightforward. We would need all the documents that are required to complete the application process. That is, your transcripts from your current university where you are going to be studying. Yes, uh, Risham, I'm just in the process of doing that. Yes, you can come for master at SCAD and just explaining the process, how does that work? So we would need your transcripts from the current university. I know that a couple of universities have three years program in India and a couple of universities have a four year program. Even if you have a three year program and your university is a NAC A accredited or UGC accredited, we will be able to accept those because we will be able to review those transcripts for you. So don't be worried about that you have done 12 plus 3 or 12 plus 4. You can still apply the SCAD if it is NAC A accredited. Now the second document that we would need is your proof of English proficiency. And this is for everybody, masters as well as undergraduate students, that is bachelor's student at SCAD. You can submit for proof of English proficiency a letter from your school stating that the medium of instruction is English, number one. Number two, you can submit IELTS score or TOEFL score and you can get your English proficiency waived off. We do not accept Duolingo scores anymore so we will not be able to share any information on Duolingo with you if you plan to submit those. It will be rejected. So please make sure that you're submitting either a letter from your university or school stating that the medium of instruction is English. We are test optional at SCAD, so SAT, GRE, ACT is not mandatory, but we would need some proof of English proficiency letter stating that you are proficient in English and your education has been in English from your first grade to your 12th grade or your ninth grade to your 12th grade, at least a minimum of for four years. Now portfolio and resume and letter Minimum two is mandatory for master's students. So resume, your proof of English proficiency, statement of purpose, and other documents in order for you to be able to uh, complete your application. All right. So these are just a couple of requirements that we have for masters. These are the couple of requirements that we have. Am I audible now? Am I audible now? So the documents that you need is transcripts, your first year, second year, and third year, or fourth year, depending upon what your university offers, your proof of English proficiency, your portfolio, resume, two letters of recommendation, 
statement of purpose in order for you to be able to complete your application for a master's program at SCAN. And if you're planning for an undergraduate program, you need your 9th, 10th, 11th grade transcripts as we do not accept predictable grades, so we will not be able to do that. So you can submit your 9th, 10th, and 11th grade transcripts. Now, another thing that is important is you want to make sure that your portfolio is great and you are able to achieve the scholarship that you are looking for in the undergraduate or the master's program. We have an MFA program at SCAD in interior designing. So that is an equivalence in the field of design for PhD. So you can consider doing an MFA in interior designing. I'm sorry if I missed out on a couple of questions previously. Please feel free to ask them to me in the uh, SCAD booth at around 11.20. We will be starting that because I couldn't go over all the questions. Uh, that were in the chat box and I couldn't I just could see a couple of them uh, it does help if you have work experience it it's okay even if you don't have work experience because uh, you will be applying for an undergraduate or a master's program and it will be more important for your portfolio as well as your skill set to be mandatory when you are applying to SCAD in general so you your practical knowledge as well as your skill set will be very very important when you are applying scan yes we do have masters in design management at scad and you that is a stem major that you can work or uh, you can study at scan um then if the degree was calculated on the basis of four points in gpa system could you cross -compare? Uh, we will be converting your GPA. Uh, if you have GPA, we will be using that GPA out of four. If you have a percentage or CGPA out of 10, we will be converting that to 4.0 GPA as well. So we will be able to go ahead and complete your application based on that. Uh, sorry, I know there are a lot of questions. Uh, you can attend the session as we have limited time right now. You can attend the session with me post 11.20 in the booth and I will be able to answer questions more evidently and explain the application process as well. So you will be able to, uh, so I will be able to give you more brief about how and what exactly programs do we offer at SCAD because I will be going over the SCAD website with you where you will be able to find more information and in-depth knowledge about what programs we offer at SCAD, what are the transfer procedures, what are the And all the other information that you require in order for you to be able to put in this hat and then submit your applications to SCAD. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to answer those questions in the booth later on. Here are the limitations as the session starts at 11 a.m. Uh, and we will be introducing SCAD in a brief introduction for about a minute or two. Uh, Hi, Kushal Natalia. Hi, Natali. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. We still have about four or five minutes before we right. can move to the other booth. So if you'd like to right. take a few questions, um, I can help you. Yeah, I did take a couple of questions. Yeah. I did take a couple of questions, but I'm losing a track of questions. I'm trying to... Ah, okay. Let, let me help you. And then, yeah. uh, you know, uh, students uh, at 11 a.m., as Kushal said, we start with another session. All of you all are uh, automatically going to be moved uh, to the other booth for a quick introduction session with the universities. But uh, for now, I think we are going to take one or two questions. So I think uh, Kushal Ishita is asking her that she's in 10th grade. And is it necessary for her to do maths, um, you know, uh, after 11th grade to apply for BFA? That's a question. All right. That's a great question. We do not have any requirements at 
students who are applying for the undergraduate program. So you will be able to study whatever course you want to study. You don't need to take science or math as a requirement at SCAN. So don't worry about studying any program specifically. Just focus on what you'd like to study. Great, great. Also, Priyanshi is asking, can we do master's in design field without doing bachelor's in the same? Yes, you can. We have a lot of students who have applied from engineering program, who have applied from master's program at SCAD, uh, from mechanical engineering, from civil. There are a lot of students who have applied from bachelor's of business administration. So you will have a lot of students like that who are applying for levels and you will be able to uh, you know uh, understand exactly uh, what we need at SCAD in order for you to be able to be successful so just keep in mind that when you are applying to SCAD you are able to focus on your choice of interest and understand exactly what we need at SCAD so basically there are multiple programs like if you are doing commerce, for example, in your 11th and 12th, that is not, we don't have a requirement as such. You can still apply because when you are in your bachelor's and fine arts program, you will be studying basics about designing and starting from there. And then when you are applying for your master's, the most important thing that you would need if you're from a different major is just that you would need a portfolio and nothing else. So you will need a portfolio for the specific major that you're planning to apply for. So keep that in mind. Great. I think there are a lot of questions about portfolios, etc. And guys, Kushal right. is available uh, from 1015 onwards, around 1020 in the SCAD University booth. So do drop by and you know ask all your questions there because all the detailed questions, uh, I think it's better uh, you'll ask him there. Uh, you know, uh, I think we just have a couple of, we just have two minutes basically, and maybe we can just take one question and which is Anjali says, is there a music production degree in SCAD? Yes, we do have music at SCAD. So students are able to study sound design, specifically music is the minor. So students are able to study sound design at SCAD. And that is something that if you're interested in, I can go over in the booth because there is so much, so much to share about that program specifically. So you will be able to know more about it because we have only a minute left. So we want to make sure that everybody is able to attend the session in breakout room number three. But I will be sharing a couple of important things in the booth because for your review session, on the 17th of November. So we are going to be hosting a SCAD portfolio, how to build your greatest of all times portfolio, that is how to build your good portfolio. So please do attend the session in the, in the uh, SCAD booth so that you are able to know what is the session that we're going to be hosting on the 17th of November, as I will be sharing details about portfolio guidelines, as well as a couple of other things.